Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 266, minimized maximum of products distributed to any store. So this one's a little bit weird phrased, but um, but not too bad. I think the way that I um, thought about this problem is what I call the bookshelf problem. Um, and you're trying to figure out the minimum possible X of the maximum things, right? So what that means is that, you know, given, uh, given a distribution of uh, all these products in a piecemeal way, we, the way, another way to think about this is that, okay, we can put at most three of these things in, uh, um, yeah, uh, three of these things in each of those stores, right? Um, so yeah, so while you think about that, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like doing contest prompts. We'll do contest prompts together. We'll discuss from together. There are a lot of people who who do really well in these contests in, in the room, and I'm happy to have them, and maybe happy to have you too if you're good. Uh, or even if you're not. <laughs> I don't know why I say it like that. Anyway, let's get back to this one. So the way to think about this, maybe another way of, um, and this is kind of a, uh, a style that comes up from time to time. I don't know how practical this is, to be honest. Um, I call it the bookshelf problem because it's it reminds me of um, if you have a bookshelf of each shelf of like height uh, of certain heights, how many books can you fit or something like that. And the idea behind these problems is con converting, um, instead of a a answering the question that they give you directly, you, you rephrase the question in a way that allow you to get the answer, right? And the way to do this is that, okay, if if um, the maximum number of product of store is is uh, X, how many stores do you need? So that's the, the way that I would phrase it. If if you can, so 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 another way of thinking about it is that okay, given this input and output, um, let's say we're giving the output three, right? How many ends would that take take up? Um, and the reason why we can do this is because, um, ooh, no. Uh, and the reason why we can do this is because you can greedy the solution, right? Because this is going to be the maximum. It doesn't matter if you, like, this is a two right now, but it doesn't matter if it's a one, it's a zero, it doesn't matter. Um, it just matters how many stores that you use up, right? And you could fill it up in a greedy kind of way for, um, as an answer to that one, right? Because this is the minimum of stores, so then you just do a for loop and do that math. And once you have that, once you've been able to answer that solution, well, now you have um a, a cool way of doing it and and this is the function that I have that said what I did right which is that given um given that we have an x how many how many stores does it take up um and and now you you may think of this there's one more property that you can think of that using that function or that thingy right um given a number uh, or, uh a number x where x is the max per store, how, may, how many stores would it require? And, and the key thing to note is that for this, this prop, this part, um, you know, if it, 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 it could fit the world where like, okay, for given, uh, given, um, given why say, right? It, if, if, um, yeah, uh, let me think about this. Sorry, give me a second. So, how many stores does it require? Well, if um, if the number of stores is less than n, then x is a good. It's a possible answer, right? Um, so now we're doing binary search on the answer from that, um, which is you know because x is now a possible answer. And now what we think about? Okay, what does this mean, right? Um, well. If x is an answer, then x plus one. Oh, sorry. Um, if x is an answer, then x is one is is uh, uh, is a possible answer. Then x one is a is a possible answer, right? And that means that if, if you know if, if um, yeah if. if uh, Sorry, I'm still recovering a little bit from a sore throat, so I'm I'm trying to uh, my apologies. But yeah, if x is an answer, then x plus one is a possible answer. So we will eliminate this because 
we want the min, right? Um, yeah, if x is not a possible answer, meaning it uses more than n stores, then x minus 1 cannot be an answer because that would require um, it would require more stores or same or more stores, right? Um, so yeah, so then from that, basically that, that's basically what we got. We go to binary search. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, we do a binary search. We try the mid. If the mid is good, then that means that mid is a possible answer. So we and we want to and we want to look at a smaller answer to see if we could get a smaller answer. So that's why we move to right to mid. Otherwise, we move to left to mid plus one um, because mid is not a possible answer. So now in our inclusive range, left is not a possible answer. So then at the end, when left is equal to right, that means that your your range. Uh, converges to one thing, so then we return left. Um, yeah, so this good function is going to be O of M uh, to 1 because it's just a linear loop for the M, uh, this M number of quantities. And of course, this will take, uh, in my case, uh, O of log 10 to the 6. So let's say R is the range um, where where r is the the uh, range, which is the constraint that they give you here, which is the max quantity, right? Um, so in total, then this is going to be o of m log r, and that's pretty much it. Um, so I did get a wrong answer on this one, even though I got this relatively quickly. Um, it was just dumb because I didn't really think about I. I think that is one thing that is when you have a mental template sometimes, and I actually made this mistake a couple of times, so maybe I need to spend more time when I write this out. But the thing that is that I, I, I innately, like in reflexively, I go left is equal to zero, right is equal to, uh, you know, and I actually thought about this part, but I didn't think about this part, because zero cannot be a possible answer because you can always have, uh, you can always put one as an answer as a result of this, so this constraint because there's at least one, so you have to at least have one. Um, you can actually even set this to the min number. Um, maybe, actually I don't know if that's true, but but yeah, but because I did it to zero, there was a divide by zero error, and then I was very sad afterwards uh, to eat the five minute penalties, which um, if you look at the results, um, so I would have been 32, 35, so I would have, I would have been 97, 98, so I dropped 50 ranks on that one wrong answer. So sometimes, uh, and even if, uh, yeah, okay, so I should have been a little bit slower, so maybe I wouldn't have dropped that much, but even if you add like one more minute, it would have been, you know, much more desirable. So sometimes you have to be, uh, you definitely be, have to be more careful about these things. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all I have for this one. You could watch me solve it live during the contest, including my bug. You can see me solve it live during the contest next. Okay. That was pretty okay. Uh, but I'm a little behind because of Q1, so. Two people already solved this. I have to catch up a little bit due to the slow Q1. Minimum, the maximum number. What's N again? Always look at the constraint first. And this is just binary search, I think. 
and a lot of people got it quickly, so. This is the worst case. This is good, mid is good, so then. How many stores do we use up? That's not right. Ten thousand. What if this? So if X is. X is good. So if ten hundred thousand to fifty thousand. Oh, so this is round up actually. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Ah. I knew, I, as soon as I hit submit, I knew that I messed up because this should be at least one. Um, yeah, as soon as I hit submit, I knew that I needed to fix that. Uh, as soon, what a silly mistake. Knew it, knew it, knew it. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like contest forums or even if you just like to just hang out. Um, see you later. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health and take care. Bye bye.